the next decade it will come. Uh, largely because uh, there are some uh, infrastructure impediments. Uh, also, the investment required is, is important to look at. Uh, infrastructure impediments like we need more spectrum. Uh, we also need a lot of optical fiber in the country to do 5G. And both of them will take time to build up. We're on the right track. Spectrum's coming out as part of auctions. Government has the plan to lay out uh, fiber. The Bharat Net program has been on. So these initiatives will lead us to 5G, but not in the same pace as Tokyo or Korea. India will take a longer time to get there. And that is okay, but we have to do it right. See, the groundwork for 5G is very common to the groundwork for 4G. And we see already good development in that regard. It will just need to pace up. See, every technology, it starts with the early adopters and it's usually a niche technology. And then it becomes a broad-based, pervasive technology. Same happened with 2G, same happens with 3G now, same will happen for 4G, and same guarantee will happen for 5G. It doesn't have to start, because when you have a few subscribers, it becomes a niche service. And then the competition comes in, and then the subscriber base grows, and then the prices adjust. And the price, by the way, is just not for the plans, it's also for the devices. A 4G device is much costly than a 3G device. But imagine a 3G device three years ago was the same price as the 4G device today. And now it has come down. And this is normal technology life cycle. It will happen for 5G as well. We will have to see. Uh, what I know for sure is 5G is needed for industrial applications. Whether the consumer demand will also be served by 5G, we will have to see. Eventually, yes, but in the initial years, 4G is good enough. So we will have to see when 4G from a consumer application transitions to 5G. That we will have to see. That I don't want to predict today. But for industrial applications, you will need 5G. Anything that can be connected anywhere will be connected in very simple terms. That means just not you and me, that's just not wearable devices, it's complete industrial IoT. We're talking about billions of devices here. That is what network society is. It's not, it's, we will not snap into a network society. We will transition into one. And by the way, we have started that work. We have started that transition right now. Right now, I mean, if you look at it from that perspective, two decades ago, how many people were connected? Now we have 900 million people connected. And the pace is just going faster. Now we have more and more devices coming out. We have wearable devices. How many Fitbits in India? Lot. Wearable IoT takes on. Then it's a natural transition. We see more and more startups working in this space now. And by the way, that advantage India carries is right now the third biggest hub for innovation globally. And maybe that's what India will uh, need to propel forward. I wish I had the answer, I would be on billion dollars right now. But uh, from a technology perspective, it is IoT. For the layman is that it's about uh, not just people, but devices getting connected. That is the next generation of mobile technology.